Have you ever had a contact that, in this example, we've got Grant Adams working for Ghost Hunters and then Jason also working for the same company, and you open up one of them and you're like, oh yeah, he works with so-and-so, I can't remember who it was. So then you like close out of here, you do a search for Ghost Hunters, and then you find it's Jason. Well, you can bypass all that by linking them up. Now by default, Outlook 2007 doesn't allow you to link your contacts. And this is what I mean. I'm going to double click and open up a contact. And down below, this is the linking field. By default, it shouldn't be showing. To turn it on, let me close out of here. You'll come up here and click on the Tools menu. Go down to Options. On the Preferences tab, come down here and click on the Contact Options. And you want to check this box, Contact Linking, Show Contact Linking on all forms. Check it, click OK, click OK. Double click on one of your contacts and this box down below should show. So to link Grant to Jason, just click on the button down below and then you'll have to search through all the contacts, a one-time deal as it were. But remember, I have two separate folders. Jason and Grant aren't in the contacts folder, let me expand this, they're in the personal folder. So when I select that, then you'll see the list of them down below. So let me go ahead and select Jason, click OK, and there's the link. How does it work? Well, first let me save it. As I go ahead and double click on Jason, it opens up his contact. So now I have open Jason here and down below click on Grant. In addition to that, when I link it to Jason over here, he's linked back to Grant. So if I right click and close Grant, and then I double click on the link in Jason's contact to Grant, double click, it opens him up. Pretty cool. Now, of course, you can add additional contacts. They don't have to be within the same folder. For example, Jason and Grant, let me go back to my Outlook folder here. Jason and Grant are in the personal folder. In the main contacts folder is Doug Heffernan. Let's see what happens. Let me go back to, let's say, Grant. Click on the contacts. In the contacts here, there's Doug Heffernan. Select him, click OK, and he links up to him. So they can be in separate contact folders, but it still works. Double click Doug Heffernan, it brings him up as well. Again, if you recall in the previous training video, down in the lower left hand corner, if it's blank, it means that this contact came from your default Outlook contact folder. Let me go to Grant. If they came from another folder, like my personal contacts folder, one that I created, it'll be listed here, okay? So that way you can tell where your contacts are pulling from which folder, and of course now you've got all these links here. So we have Grant linked to Jason and Doug. Doug is linked back to Grant and Jason is only linked to Grant. It doesn't automatically take Grant's links and link them up to Jason. It's just whoever Jason's linking to will automatically be linked back to him, but not include any outside links. As we saw here in Grant Adams, his additional link to Doug Heffernan. Just be sure when you're done to save your work, or in this case, save and close, save and close.